some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Tennessee at a live stream for uh, Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom. Oh, good old Jeremiah Payne. And his live stream is interrupted because you know what? He and his wife have a couple warrants out for their arrest. So now let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Between America and Sweden, that's uh, license plates on cars. If you have a license plate, you can see in two seconds the owner and the three previous owners and everything about the car. Address, phone number, everything. And that's public information in Sweden. Really? Yep, that's it. I don't know. Wow. There's a lot less road rage. That does not even... Uh, it's very little road rage compared to America. Can we come in? Can we come in? Sure. Sure. You would think it's different. You, you would think now. there'd be more oh. ro more road rage because oh Wait, people what? would know their their address. Well, okay, but, County, you know, like, it's not, it doesn't work that way. No. Logan, where's Logan County? Hey, what's going on now? Come here, Dollar. I didn't think y'all transferred. They got an extradition. They're going to take that boat. What is that? Hey guys, we're being arrested. Both of us, me and Samantha, both for right. Russellville, Kentucky warrants. Now, the story of this little arrest was quite interesting, considering that uh, there was somebody on the live stream who uh, knew that they had a warrant out for their arrest and ended up informing the police where they were and they, that they were doing a live stream at that particular time, gave the address and everything like that. So it appears that the Kentucky police decided to waste no time and request an inter extradition from Tennessee, and the Tennessee police departments decided to uh, cooperate, and here we have it. So let's carry on and find out what the warrants are for. Let me call John. What the hell? Can he convict the baby up? That's what he's yeah, trying to do. That's what I'm trying to call him. No. I, mean, I, mean, I don't mean you. Give it to the second. Fuck. Don't know. I don't, I don't understand you either, Fowler. Oh, my God. And we got to check out the motel in the morning. And now we won't be able to check out the motel. Oh, my God. They're about to lay all our stuff. Come on, officers. Officers. Be Show some mercy. Oh, my God. Get him. Oh, my God. I mean, Jeremiah, you mind just... Mr. Payne, you might just put your knife on the desk, don't make me. Oh. But so you have a, a failure to appear for arraignment. Guys, we're being arrested for Russellville, Kentucky warrants. $750 is my. Where did you see that? Mine's $750 to get out, and we don't have $750. Maybe. Oh my God, what is that? Failure to of owner to maintain required. Okay. Is there a failure to appear? I, I don't know. Oh, I, know okay. I don't know. I, mean, I didn't understand. Okay. So, but I didn't think. Sure. Kentucky, it's not money. I didn't think Kentucky could come into Tennessee. So, you're so I'm so confused. Your arrest warrant is for theft of shoplifters. Theft and shoplifting. That's what? taking this warrant that you stole a bicycle and then you put the bicycle in a Pinsky rental truck and drove off. They've got that on camera. So, that's what your warrants are for. for <laughs> Shoplifting and also for driving on a suspended or revoked license. Mm -hmm. Your license is not valid, so that's I know that. I've not been What's your birthday? 5378. Okay, so but you don't yeah, have a bond. That's what your warrant is for there. And okay, they sent us an extradition stating that if we take you into custody, they will pick you up. I thought they'd get an extra day. No, they did today. I didn't think they could. I can't. They mm -hmm. wanted you, they said they can't. Have a new agreement that it's relatively new with the state of Kentucky, Tennessee does, where they will we would pick up people on their charges and they would vice versa. Not because we had such a bad problem. No, but she she can get yeah. yeah. What's okay. going to happen okay. with Skyler? You want to go to Uncle John? Mammy. Mammy. Yes. Okay, hold on. We're going to Kentucky. I mean, if the cop could just take her to Russellville, where? 
I wish we could. I know. That'd be great. That'd be you think the cops is coming to get us? I mean, if, if we took you straight to Russell, it'd be a violation of your own rights. Uh, we, can't, we can't do that. We're going to do it the right way. No, I, I, I'm worried about my kid. Oh, no. Don't no. take care of him. Oh, yeah, no, Who knows you got a cop? Oh, Officer? How many days do you have to stay? We're going to have to stay a long time because I don't have $750. Officer. It won't be forever. It won't be forever. It won't be forever. It won't be forever. Listen, listen. It won't be forever. It's okay. Officer, can you hear me? Officer, can you tell me how much the bond is? Your warrant is for failure. I don't take insurance. I'll still cooperate in the vehicle. They don't want to talk. Hey, young John, you need to call me now. It was mine. Well, now, first things first. Skylar, she's all right. They, uh, Grandparents came by and picked her up and took her home, so she's going to be fine. Jeremiah's wife has been picked up for a uh, failure to appear, as far as I know, and has a $750 bond out for her, so she claims she can't pay it, so I'm so sure there's going to be some e-begging. But then again, the Indiana auditor that we just saw sitting on the live chat said he was going to get in contact with Chile de Castro, to see what he can do to help them out, but I don't know what he'll do. Because we all know that he's in his deep trouble himself in a lot of places at this moment, so who knows. And Jeremiah has no bond whatsoever, so he's not going to get out anytime soon. And uh, his warrants are for uh, shoplifting and driving without a license, or suspended license, excuse me. Sounds like a typical fraudster to me, going out and stealing everything that they think that's owed to them. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if I see any more updates on this situation, I will let you know, and thanks for watching, everybody.